your flying background? Um, well, I flew the FedEx Cuter system for, the last, for uh, eight and a half years. Okay. Yeah. No, with Pacific Winds now for six years. We've got 11,000 hours total time. Prior to that, I flew uh, for New Mexico Flying Service here in the state. So I've done most of my flying here in New Mexico. Went to uh, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Prescott. Excellent. I uh, was originally from upstate New York. Moved out to the west and said, you know what, I love the southwest. And, you know, the caravan, as I was explaining before, is the type of airplane is for me because the bigger they are, the faster they fly, and the further away from home they get you. And I want to be at home with my family and my kids. Oh, nice. my, my son Connor, he's here today, kind of on a field trip. He's homeschooled. So learned all about what dad does and you know we've we started many communities you know whether it be in, in Georgia whether it be in Tennessee uh, as you know as currently I'm the director of operations with New Mexico or uh, Pacific Wings which is doing business as New Mexico Airlines and uh, you know I've trained many many pilots and uh, Keith Windham is our chief pilot he's inside uh, he's been with uh, New Mexico Airlines for the last five and a half years as well so you guys are in good hands uh, we're looking forward to you know serving the, the community of the awesome. Yep. But that's a little bit about my background. Okay. So where are you living now? I'm oh, sorry. I live in Albuquerque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've lived, lived in Albuquerque for the last uh, about 20 years. Okay. Yeah. So Connor, tell us about your dad. Is he a good pilot? Yeah. So we, you don't have any trouble flying with him? A any day, huh? How many hours? Did you guys fly up here this morning? We did fly up this morning. Yeah. On this plane? Yep. Yeah. Where does this plane spend the night? When we start the service here in Los Alamos, it's going to be spending the night here. Okay. Where it's been spending the night is back down in Albuquerque. Or there, Carlsbad, because we currently service Carlsbad as well. And that's one of the, the beautiful things is the folks that are at the DOE down in Carlsbad, they can get on our 6 a.m. flight, get into Albuquerque at 7.20, catch the 7.40 flight to Los Alamos, and be in Los Alamos at 8 a.m. So if people want to do that and vice versa, depart Los Alamos in the afternoon, get down to Carlsbad by the evening. So. Very versatile between those two cities. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned, we're starting off with three three flights a day to Albuquerque. As the ridership starts to increase, the long-term goal is to have nine flights a day. Uh, back at the point like when Ross Aviation do it, they used to have nine flights a day. And I think that's what's going to be the key to success to making this thing work long-term. When, when do you think that would happen? Nine I'm going to say that we're probably will see an increased flight by uh, Memorial Day up to four. By by fall, we'll probably see it up to five or even six. I would say that by 18 months from now, it would probably be a good target date to see up to nine. But if we start seeing the ridership, that people are saying, hey, this is great, this is reliable, let's go ahead and do it. And as we start seeing the flights get full, we're going to start adding flights. So it really depends on the community. And as I mentioned before, back in the 70s and 80s, uh, there was a ridership of 22,000 passengers a year. So I know that it's here. I know that Los Alamos is looking forward to having scheduled air service again. It's just going to take some time to build that confidence into people of the experiences they've had in the past to erase that to make them realize that this is going to be a convenient and affordable air service.